Hello everyone. Welcome to course of fundamentals of IOT in short FIOT. So in today's class, we are going to learn a new topic called IOT applications in smart homes as well as smart cities. Okay. So smart homes and smart cities are the two very much popular as well as prospering domains. Okay. With help, uh, with the help of the internet of things. So mostly whenever you think of an internet of things either they are applicable for the smartphone or they are applicable for the cities for various applications and wide applications okay so as the technology is going on first the technology is implemented to the cities as well as homes obviously right okay now let's see how an iot is integrated to the smart homes then how the uh, iot is integrated to the smart cities globally we are going to see okay now first let's get into the smart homes so smart homes connect the devices and home appliances together in order to improve the efficiency so uh, in order to improve the efficiency we are using this particular internet of things for several home appliances whatever the home appliances may be there okay all these appliances previously uh, a, a man used to or a particular person used to do with own hands okay to uh, perform any task in the home or something after that slowly uh, the electronic devices has came into existence where uh, uh, these uh, made the task very much easy after that remote controlled electronic devices has came, uh, are used right now okay now what happened is all the devices not only a bigger devices in a home almost a small devices also connected over an internet okay such that we can monitor as well as control those electronic devices or the home appliances now let's see what are those okay so the devices such as geysers ovens smart tvs thermostats okay so these are the basic uh, things okay which are also connected over the internet. It's very funny, right? So, IoT connects these devices to the internet and these devices are uh, constantly send and receive the information about the surroundings, okay? So, if, uh, if at all the there is a smart TV connected to a particular dish TV, okay? So, you can also uh, set the timer over the internet. You can also change the channels over the internet you can also get the subscription data of the smart tv or the dth tv if you take the geyser okay so you can control the geysers uh, and the, know the temperature of that particular water or somewhat over the internet if you come coming to the oven okay you can also set the timer using an app or an application over the internet okay you can also see how many degrees the food is going to get heated okay so all these uh, simple, simple things can also be monitored over the internet, okay? So these devices which are connected over the internet is mainly what they are doing is they are transmitting as well as receiving the data or the information, okay? So these devices send the data, okay, to giant cloud servers. Uh, these days we are talking about the uh cloud servers right and we have also seen the topics called sensor cloud okay using this cloud mostly all the data is stored in the cloud servers okay through iot gateways okay now due to this what is happening means smart homes allows the users to remotely monitor their devices via mobile application simple concept okay so not only this these are uh the smart home also mainly includes security systems like uh, Wi-Fi cameras or surveillance cameras all were majorly used uh, everywhere. Smart uh, thermostats as well as smart refrigerators. Okay. Now, let's see one by one. What are the uh, most involved IoT applications coming to the smart homes? First, let's see this smart thermostats. Okay. So these smart homes includes thermostats, okay, the, that are capable of sensing and controlling the temperature, okay. So it controls the flow of that particular temperature. You can alter the temperature with our mobile app or a mobile application connected over the internet, okay. And not only that, second one is the 
location based smart devices so these smart devices can also track our location and also instantly send the messages to other devices to uh, operate okay so see suppose uh, you can you are coming towards your car your car is in a parking lot okay let us say and the smart thermostats which is situated in the car or fitted to a car will be tracking you and before you get into the car within few seconds it will be turning on the ac okay such that you will be feeling comfortable whenever you uh, enter into the car okay so this is how they can also uh, uh, locate or uh, track you okay everyone now next comes the voice enabled devices so we have uh, uh, much more popular right okay like alexa siri all these comes under voice enabled devices okay you can also give commands to them you can also listen the uh, replies in the form of a voice okay next comes the facial recognition okay so facial recognition is one of the famous iot applications where you see mostly facial recognition can be used for the uh, locking system or the security system not only that you can also use it for the uh, door opening uh, mechanism or suppose whoever is in front of your main door okay so based on that uh, you can also recognize the person whether he is a known person or a stranger okay everything not only that for an attendance monitoring also these days facial recognition technology is very much used okay and along with that motion detection suppose you have placed a camera in front of your house okay if something moves around the camera or in front of the camera automatically the motion gets detected you can see an alarm or an image okay will be uh, captured and it will be stored in the uh, mobile phone or the cloud okay or the application which you are using not only that you can also have the biometric access okay you can have your fingerprint okay or kind of uh, biometric access control for your locker systems door opening mechanisms or uh, attendance kind of thing all this uh, biometric access control is also considered under the iot next comes the benefits of smartphone uh, smart homes okay so smart homes allow you to add improvised functionality into regular homes obviously these makes lives very much easier okay so for example start a uh, smart vacuum cleaners okay clean up your entire home uh, whenever we are not there okay and uh, uh, smart refrigerators according to the diet okay they will also will be popping up some of what to eat and what not to eat okay whatever it is stored okay everything so smart home uh, smart home offers security stability flexibility and also peace of mind okay see the, the ultimate goal is to make the persons or uh, people's task very much easy okay now let's see what are the challenges obviously along with the positive uh, points we also have negative points uh, using iot's in the smart home so let's see although there is no doubt that smart homes make the human lives very much easier but there will be several challenges so let's see what are those challenges it becomes uh, difficult to integrate the system when each one of the iot devices is sold by different vendors suppose let us say uh, our security cameras are uh, uh bought from some company okay and the sensors fitted to our taps or electrical systems are bought from some other company and the iot connected to a refrigerator or ac is done by another vendor let us say all the sensor data all the cameras data should be integrated to a single gateway iot gateway we can't keep multiple electronic devices for each and every appliances right so a single uh uh, kit or any uh, single integrated device need to be there in order to monitor all these things so so it is also one of the challenging task next comes many times iot devices are not compatible with each other obviously they will be giving lot of uh, uh, headaches and all those things if at all they are not compatible with each other okay some might be uh, connecting to the wi-fi and some may not be connecting okay it depends see 
and the one more challenging thing is even though you have lots and lots of application most people won't use due to the high expensive okay uh, condition okay so uh, all these things are very much costly and next challenge is security is still a big threat in smart homes okay so as all our smart home all our home appliances and devices are connected through iot there might be a chance of hacking or there might be a threat with respect to the security kind of thing okay now let's see the overview okay so till now we have seen up to a single home now if you see consider a whole city okay so a smart city can be nothing but all the city and all the parts of the cities okay or all the parts of the city is connected over an internet of things or an internet okay and it is connected worldwide so the main advantage of connecting or making a city smart is like uh, to make more safer modern as well as reliable okay so due to which it boosts the economy so these smart cities include services devices and technology that work with iot obviously so what are the services it is providing means they offer services to improve water electricity roads transportation public areas building and uh, many digital services such as broadband okay so uh, the main aim is to uh, replace the regular machines with the smart uh, machines which contains the sensors these sensors what they do means they collect the data and generate efficient response based on the data given by the sensors okay so uh, this helps the citizens to live more comfortably and uh, easily okay so not only that in the smart cities whenever sensors are installed on the road okay so accidents and death will be avoided by large extent okay let's see some of the uh, management systems with respect to smart cities so the coming to the features of the smart cities first one smart water management okay so smart water management uses iot in order to uh, monitor as well as control the water bodies so uh, how much water is utilized according to a particular area home when the water should be released and how many how much uh quantity or water is wasted everything can be monitored and accordingly it can be uh altered so that we can save huge amount of water okay next comes the smart lighting if you see the roads okay so now and then most of the cities are uh, wasting electricity or energy in the form of a uh, street light okay so in instead of that you can place some sort of sensor connected to a light and these lights can be powered up by the solar at the daytime obviously we don't need light right so uh, at the daytime there is no need of switching on the uh, street light so obviously uh, the lights gets uh, off and in the night based on the darkness okay the light gets on and not only that you can also make in such a way that whenever the vehicle is passing through that particular road okay we can make the lights on otherwise the lights can be off okay so based on the application we can use the technology accordingly next comes the smart traffic management okay so these days uh, you can uh, clearly see all the traffic lights and all those things are automated okay all these traffic lights also based on the uh, uh, road the density or the traffic density it keeps on changing uh, its uh, uh, routes or the uh, clearance it gives clearance to the roads to clear okay generally what we the traffic light what we see here is based upon the time it, for each and every road it will be allocating some minutes of time but if you integrate an iot for that okay sitting in a particular uh, single building you can monitor almost all the traffic everywhere you can also uh, put challenge to the uh, vehicles which is uh, violating the rules okay not only that there are so many things can be done okay you can also monitor through wi-fi cameras or a security cameras where that a particular vehicle is moving through which direction and to what direction everything can be monitored okay and next coming to the smart parking so smart parking is one of the major issues in malls and the theaters and multiplexes everything 
right okay nowadays in the cities so smart parking helps the uh, 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 vehicles to detect whether the uh, car is in the particular slot or not okay all these things every parking slot can be integrated with different types of sensors in order to uh, locate whether the vehicles are around or not to alert the drivers okay or uh, whenever one vehicle is coming out through the parking lot and another vehicle is entering you can put some sensors and make them to uh, feel uh, very much effective and comfortable in order to avoid uh, uh, accidents or uh, okay uh, many more things can be done next comes smart waste management okay so this smart waste management is one of the very much useful and uh, must and should implemented design okay so there should be an uh, huge garbage trucks uh, here and there and uh, huge garbage bins or the dust bins okay these uh, were equipped with the sensors and these are connected to an iot okay suppose if at all any particular garbage bin or a dust bin is filled by that uh, or full okay that particular sensor need to detect that garbage uh, is full and that should be that data should be sent to the uh, municipality okay such that in in this particular area the garbage system is full okay so the garbage truck will come and clear that particular uh, dustbin okay see and the smart policing so this is nothing but uh, it involves the use of iot based on technology in order to manage the citizens of the city okay so uh, like uh, kind of uh, security taking some precautions okay in order to provide some home and safety kind of see see if you install a cameras okay so the cameras in the local areas can provide data up to uh, about the uh, more burglar cases in order to police to take the next step okay so everything can be monitored under surveillance okay so let's see some of the benefits of the smart cities so Sensors can sense the percentage of pollutants in the air. That is also one of the benefit. Uh, sensors and data uh, about the traffic is one of the main advantage. Okay, you can clearly estimate the traffic around the city. Okay, at what time the traffic is high and at the what time the traffic is low. Everything can be monitored. Okay, so in what not there are so many applications and benefits with respect to the smart cities. Okay. So these smart cities are very much safer. They can, uh, these include smart traffic control, pollution control. They are, they are using smoke detectors, security cameras. Okay. Uh, the crime rate can also be reduced with respect to these. Okay. All these things helps in, uh, helps the people to live a much peaceful and easier life. Okay. So these are the uh applications of iot with respect to smart cities and smart homes